Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you my high growth stocks in my portfolio. That's right, I'm going to be showing you the biggest stock positions that I have in my high growth portfolio right now for you to check out, examine and potentially buy yourself. If that sounds like something you're interested in, please smash that like button, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in there. Hey guys, welcome into the video. So the first company we're looking at today is Hylion Holdings Corp, ticker H. YLN. This is one of the first ever SPACs that was out there and is a disruptor to the trucking industry that's going to use renewable gas and electrification of trucks to ignite the trucking industry essentially and they could also use um, hydrogen later on down the line. They're a direct competitor to the Tesla uh, Semi and the, uh, the um, Nikola truck as well. So I'm very interested in this company. We have a few institutional holders, uh, one direct holder. Uh, there is not a great deal of short interest in this company, to be fair, only 8% of the float. Her share price has been absolutely hammered at the moment, down to $13 from its high pre back where it was $55 a share. How uh, We do miss them days. Current market value is $2.3 billion, but I'm not really concerned about that. I've got a lot of faith in this company long term. I believe that it is going to be a significant disruptor to the truck industry and it is the one that has the answer. Renewable natural gas is the big answer here. Hylian has the answer. The infrastructure for renewable gas is in place whereas hydrogen it doesn't exist yet and electrification of trucks is a bit of a struggle as well because there, there isn't the charging points for them so analysts seem to think that this is a uh, a decent performing stock at the moment but it's not an ideal time to buy into it at the moment so it's more of a holding position at the moment uh, some hold it as a buy but moreover it is a hold in my opinion the share price is an absolute bargain at the moment at $13 you can easily top it up quite easily I'm a little bit down on this position I hold 71 shares but I'm not fussed about it holding this one long and strong the next company that I'm in is Neo, no surprises here. This company has lit up the world essentially as a direct competitor to Tesla. Market cap is 65 billion. Current share price is $43 a share. Lots of institutional and mutual funds holding this one, just to name a few. You can have a look there. Uh, there is BlackRock Fund Advisors hold a few shares and then we've got some big direct holders as well holding 6.5 million shares there as well. Short interest has came down to around 3%, 6% margin, not too bad at all. Uh, the financials stack up pretty well as well. If we look back on 2016 to now, we have a really strong growing trend. A uh, the cash flow side of things is pretty good as well. They've got plenty of cash to invest further as well. Research ratings, 11 buy ratings from currently, still 11 a month ago, six holds and just the one sell position. So that is the lowest it's been for a little while. The price target there is a median of $450. I think that is obviously wrong for the moment. So a low of $116 and a high of $588. Whether we'll get to that from $43, that's a big, big, big sweep. But over the long term, I certainly see it going that way. Our next company is Salesforce. Salesforce is a fantastic customer retail retention management system the ticker is crm it's a fantastic company that all, all around helps companies maintain the customer base that they already have they've got a, been on the stock market for a long time now they've got plenty of mutual funds plenty of institutions and plenty of large direct holders involved in this one very low short interest has actually came down by 16 percent down to two percent Lots of shares outstanding. Market cap, 192 billion. This company turns over a heck of a lot of money. Recently filed to acquire Slack as well, which I believe is a great thing going forward. If we have a look at the sales growth from 2017 till now, you've gone to 2021. It's going 
absolutely fantastically well for this company. The growth is incredible, 25% year over year. Gross income increasing as well nicely. Plenty of money being made by this company and they still have plenty of cash as well. Though there will be a, a significant dent coming up soon because they're going to have to pay for purchasing Slack. Ratings for this one, 30 buy ratings from analysts nine holds zero sales price target is a average of 275 dollars quite a long way from where it is now and a high of 336 dollars very very bullish on this stock indeed absolutely fantastic what a great company this is and then last but not least we are talking tattooed chef this is the biggest position in my portfolio. I hold nearly £1,000 worth of this company. Brought, bought for an average share price of about $16 a share. I have a lot of faith in this one going forward. Current market value is $1.8 Share price is $20. Has uh, re recently reported earnings doing particularly well as well. We have plenty of mutual funds holding this company already, even though only recently dispatched last year. Plenty of institutes as well. And then we have a couple of direct holdings as well. Really like the look of this company. Uh, share. So short interest is slightly up, 21% change recently, 6.8% of the float. Nothing to be too concerned about there really in my opinion. The company and its fundamentals stack up perfectly, really, really well. Um, if we quickly look into their last report, we've got revenue of 148 million, which was a 75% increase on the prior year. Absolutely fantastic. Net income increased over the same and the company is sitting on over 200 million dollars in cash to run a marketing campaign and expand their product range and expand their uh, production even further and they have no significant debt to write off at all essentially so they've got all that money to all that money to spend on advertising and continuing to grow revenue this company could be worth billions and billions of dollars tens of billions of dollars of in just a few short years time and that's exactly why it features so highly and so heavily in my portfolio and the researchers on this one the analyst just the one rating at the moment with an average price of 23 dollars 50 and a high of 26 dollars so six dollars above where it is now uh, going forward, I can see this company easily achieving that and pushing over the next couple of years as it tries to generate $1 billion in revenue, it'll be pushing at least 100, um, 100, one billion, one, um, $100 a share, sorry, yeah, uh, as it pushes for $1 billion in revenue. Sorry, got a bit tongue-tied there. So, them are the biggest positions in my portfolio. Highly on, I'm going to have to be a little bit of a bag holder on for a little bit, little while. Happy to do so with that one. Neo, again, going to grow massively over the coming years. Uh, Salesforce, always going to be necessary. Recently acquired Slack, absolutely fantastic as well. Tattooed Chef, as I've mentioned, going to going to absolutely turn into a Goliath company. There you have it, guys. The biggest positions in my portfolio. So we have Hylion, we have Neo, we have Salesforce, and we have Tattooed Chef. All of them super high growth stocks to watch for the next couple of years. Hylion might not do anything overnight, and the others are just going to tick along and grow nicely over time. It takes time to build a phenomenal business, and all of these have got the potential to keep generating huge revenue and then paying that back to shareholders through increased share prices. Absolutely fantastic companies. I have them in my portfolio. I recommend that you at least look into them, and I'll catch you in another investing episode. See you later.